morning, sir. Sir John Turnbury, isn't it? And how are we this morning? Um, a bit nervous. Oh, no need to be nervous, sir. You're in the hands of a professional here. <laughs> what could go wrong? Seriously? Yeah. My name is Eugene, and I'll be your executioner today. Right. Now, before we go any further, and it really won't make any difference to the quality of your dispatch, I do have to inform you that one of our services is currently not available. Really? I, I warned them about buying French, but unfortunately we've got a technical problem with our guillotine, so it's uh, temporarily out of use. Oh, goodness me. I really thought I was going to be executed in a minute. Ah, uh, sir, sir, don't you worry your head about that. Well, for as long as you've still got your head. <laughs> We've got a very good alternative to the guillotine and certainly won't be letting you down. I really wouldn't feel let down if the whole thing was put off. Oh, when we promise an execution, we always deliver. And the good news is, I have an axe. An axe? Oh, oh, you prefer a sword. We have a very nice line in swords. It's not for me to try and influence your choice in any way, but the sword option does occasionally end up in a bit of a uh, hacking. Conversely, the axe is really quite the thing for a nice, clean cut. I really do recommend it. Now, this one is an absolute beauty. It... Oh. Uh, it looks a bit used. Uh, sir, I cannot apologise enough. If I've told the early shift to clean up before they clock off once, I've told them a thousand times. This really is a poor show. Dry blood dulls the blade, you know. I can imagine. Uh, but don't you worry, I'll give it a good clean and sharpen. And I'm confident you'll be really impressed. I really was relying on the reliability of the blade dropping so fast I wouldn't feel a thing. Couldn't I just wait for the guillotine to become available? Uh, I'm afraid that's not possible. And if we don't fit you in today, you could find yourself waiting weeks. Months even. Oh, that's OK. I, I don't mind. No, no. We couldn't possibly put you out to that extent. You're booked in for an execution today and an execution you shall have. I'm really happy to be flexible. Um, I'm not in a rush. You're very kind, sir. But if we were to let our standards slip and have executions put off, it would only be a matter of time before our reputation would suffer. But... And we do have to think about the pay in audience. Huh? There's a particularly good turnout today and now we'll all be expecting to see at least one head fall into a basket. Can you imagine how nasty they might turn if they don't get to see what they came for? I see your point. Ooh, they do look a pretty bloodthirsty lot. And some of them have been drinking. Actually, some of them never stop. Won't they get upset about not seeing the guillotine? Oh, they're not too fussy. <laughs> they don't mind. So as long as they see at least one head roll off the block. Um, so we can't do this another day? I'm afraid not. Look, um, can I ask if you've been doing this long? Are you asking if I'm a professional? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean um, to... A none taken. Look, let me get this axe cleaned and sharpened and you'll see what a quality service I provide. So, tell me, have you come far today? My cell is just in there. Ah, you're local. <laughs> we get customers from all over, you know. Uh, do you mind me asking what you were in for? Treason. Oh. But I'm innocent. <laughs> That's what they all say, sir. No, no, really, I am. The king thought I was plotting against him. But I was only saying I was going to the loom. Sorry? I told someone I was going to sit on the throne. You know, visit the bathroom. And the archbishop overheard and thought I was saying I was going to depose the king. He told his royal highness and, well... Oh, that was a little unlucky, sir. I'll say. Have you thought about an appeal? There is no right of appeal. Yes, I know, sir. But have you thought about it just to try and cheer yourself up? You know, a happy little fantasy. No. Happy fantasies are very helpful. You might be surprised how many people turn up to their execution a little depressed. Can't think why. But I always say, think happy thoughts. Such as? Uh, do you have a family, sir? Yes. Ah, uh, there you are then. There's an happy thought. The king evicted them from our lands, imprisoned my sons and sold my daughters into slavery. Ah, but are they happy? No. Oh, well, uh, here's an happy thought. I got this axe all gleaming again. Right. And in two shakes of a lamb's tail, I'll get the blade as keen as mustard, and then we'll all be set. Wonderful. <laughs> Did I detect a smidgen of sarcasm there, sir? From me? Heavens no, I'm too busy thinking happy thoughts. Ah, that's the spirit. You enjoy your work, don't you? I do. Have you always been an executioner? Oh, no. So I've had all sorts of jobs. Uh, undertaker, body collector, grave digger. I'm a people person. I like working with people. Dead people. Sorry? 
All those jobs and what you're doing now, they're all working with dead people. Are they? I never really thought about it. Haven't you ever thought you might like a job working with the living? Well, I have a very particular skill set, so I'm not sure what sort of jobs you have in mind. Oh, I don't know. Surgeon? Dentist? Torturer? Do you think I'll be good at those things? I hardly know you. Oh, goodness me. You're absolutely right. What was I thinking? Here I am, about to chop off your head, and you've never even seen my face. Very impersonal. Uh, let me take off this hood. There. I'd like to think I'm the friendly face of execution, and I can't believe I let this silly little hood get in the way. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for what? Oh, you probably have things on your mind at the moment, but you've taken a real interest in me. It's very kind. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, such a shame. What is? Well, in a couple of minutes, your head will be in a basket, and I'm thinking I'll miss you. What? Oh, I know we've only just met, but I've really enjoyed our chat. I wonder if we might have been friends, and if I didn't have to execute you. Friends? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're easy to talk to. I could imagine us having a few ales together at the tavern, a spot of hunting, perhaps. <laughs> Going to watch the duck in together. Sounds nice. It does, doesn't it? Look, I'm a bit embarrassed to admit it, but I don't really have any friends. I always try to strike up relationships with the people I work with, but somehow it never lasts. Is that because you behead them, perhaps? It's my job. Can I suggest something? Oh, of course. What if you didn't take my head off with that axe and we went for a pint instead? Or if we went hunting? Uh, you said you'd like that. We could even make it to the pond for the witch drowning. Uh, that doesn't start until five. Uh, uh, I don't know, sir. Uh, we could be friends. <laughs> Do you really think so? Trust me. If we did all that instead of me losing my head, I'd be your best friend forever. Really? Really. Well, it would be nice to have a friend to do things with, and I don't suppose one less head on the spike will make much difference. And we could always tell the audience there are free drinks at the bar. <laughs> that would definitely placate them not seeing an execution. Come on, Eugene. Ten minutes from now we could be clinking tankards in the alehouse. Oh, go on then, sir. You talked me into it. Excellent. Could you untie me then? Of course. Uh, let's untie those wrists. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. And may I compliment you on how calm you've been this morning. You know what they say? If you can keep your head when all around you are losing theirs. <laughs>